What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. Sure. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. The last one of this year. Just this year, though. Just this year, because you know we're going to be back in 2022. On the airways, on your TV, every Sunday, 11 a.m., ABC, and maybe some other stations. You just have to stay tuned to that next year Ooh. and find out where we might be. There might be some other spots. You never know. <laughs> Titan takeover, baby. But uh, listen, so it's New Year's Eve edition, Cupid's Corner. Uh, we thought it was only fitting because this is the last episode of the year, and uh, you guys are going to watch this on New Year's Day. Mm. Right? So it's going to be really cool. Well, I guess it's the second day of New Year's, if, if, to be technical. Um, but at that point, listen, it's New Year's Eve, and what did you guys do? I hope you guys went out and enjoyed yourself and maybe seen some fireworks, gave that New Year's Eve kiss, and made those great New Year's resolutions. <laughs> I think yeah. we all have those New Year's resolutions. We all come out in that, that, you know, that final moments of the ending of the year and we say listen we're going to do this or i'm going to do this or i have in my mind this is going to be the goal and a lot of times that goal might be weight loss it might be a better relationship better job whatever it may be mm -hmm. you have your own goals and resolutions so uh, you know each year i like to make my own resolutions i really don't tell anybody because i don't want to jinx it or spoil it you know yeah, you can't say anything it's almost like a birthday wish yeah you definitely just, want to keep just yourself. make the wish and just don't say it all out but in all seriousness, <laughs> it's really good if you really write down your resolution and keep yourself accountable. Now, these resolutions could be anything. So let's just go with the most common resolution we hear at Titan Medical Center. What do you think it might be? Um, to be smarter. I want to <laughs> lose weight. <laughs> Especially because, you know, everybody got those COVID pounds. Um, everybody really wants to lose weight. They want to get their health better. So at that point, a lot of people were obese or maybe overweight. And they know to get their health better that they have to exercise, they have to sleep better, they have to eat better. They have to eat, right. And they have to get Titan therapies, possibly. You <laughs> gotta to get the there. Titan therapy. That's the only thing keeping me skinny, okay? You know, but you know, <laughs> for, for each week, we usually talk about tips and tricks for couples or maybe for you to enhance your life or quality of life. And I think that New Year's resolutions can be a good motivator for you. I know we always hear New Year, New Me type deal, but. You know, in all, in all honesty, you want to really set these goals up and you really want to hold yourself accountable so you can really achieve these goals. Um, and for us, you know, we always make, you know, goals together, right? And that might be a great thing for you as a relationship or partners to make your own goals together. Maybe mm -hmm. what you guys are going to achieve together and stuff like that. And then you guys can really hold yourselves accountable. And it could be, hey, listen, we're both going to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, both saying, hey, listen, let's go to the gym. Or when one person's feeling down or doesn't feel like going. Push you're, up. Yeah, you're really kicking them in the butt. You're, you're, you're putting that yeah. motivation and fire in the butt. Like, hey, listen, <laughs> we're going to do this. Come on. You don't got to be mean about it. I mean, you can do two ways. You can be a drill sergeant. Oh, or, you know, you, you could put, you know, the carrot on the stick and, and basically, you know, motivate them to go there. And, <laughs> and that could be a number of different ways. So, listen, if you're a girl, you want to promise your, your guy, you know, some, some great favor that you might you know exchange or whatever it may be to bring or, their dinner up to bed you know if it's that a guy a you know you might offer your wife a massage your <laughs> girlfriend a massage whatever it may be but yeah. you know these different things are a way to motivate each other and really to be able to accomplish different things that you might not been able to accomplish the year previous and you're really putting that into light and highlighting that goal or resolution so you guys are really on track to do it yeah, you know? no, I, mean, I agree. One hundred percent. We always do that every year. You know, the fireworks go off, uh, or like the ball drops, or whatever it is. And kind of like, it, I feel like I get like this emotional. I don't know what it is about that moment of like going into the next year. It's uh -huh. just so emotional, right? Yeah. I, I don't know what it is exactly. It's just I don't know. It's like you know, five, four, three, <laughs> two, ah, cry. But you know, it's almost like you kind of like hit the repeat button for two seconds, yeah. and you're like, wow. 
gosh, this year went by so quick, or this is what happened in this year, or this is what I went through this year, you know, this is what I learned this year, this is what I do and don't want for next year, you know, it kind of just rolls through your mind in, like, literally maybe, like, a 10-second time frame, yeah. and it's like, whoa. So, you know, yeah, every year me and John kind of, like, sit down, we're like, all right, it's a little bit more complicated for us because we don't just have separate lives, right? We have, like, one life, but we're two people, yeah. you know, so we're like, all right, this is what we need to do for the business, this is what we need to do for our family this is what we want for peter you know this is what we want for us you know we usually leave us as last but you know as long as everything else is good That's and all right. the people around us are good we're usually at least okay with the fact that they're good right yeah. so you know it's that's okay. We've, we've come to terms on that. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> I, I think it's a big thing. And, and listen, we always really focus on those goals, and it's, it, it's a great thing, you know, to be able to achieve those goals. Um, you feel really good about it. You feel good about yourself. It's a confidence booster all the way around. Um, and set achievable goals. Don't set, you know, these out-of-the-world type goals, right? If it's, you know, you want to lose weight, not, I'm going to want to lose 100 pounds, and, you know, it's probably not going to happen that quick. I'm or it could be can... like let's just say even like it wasn't even about weight right let's just say you guys been talking about a new house for a while right and you're like all right listen this year we got to get this new house right so what are you going to do to get the new house because right. listen if you really think about it guys there's a lot of things that people can do to achieve the goals that they're trying to achieve realistically if they do different things right sure. so for sure. instance right let's just say that the 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 mortgage payment on the house is going to be i don't know i'm just throwing a number out there let's, let's say it's going to be 1500 bucks right and you're like oh well we can only afford a thousand right now all right well then let's break down what we're spending money on oh well we're buying you know some beer here and we're getting uber eats here and you know we went out and bought some clothes here so snip 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 all of a sudden boom you have an extra 500 dollars a month and like wow we can make this happen for sure we can definitely make this happen but it's like you know where can you cut things out to make other things happen and sometimes when you cut those things out to make the other things happen the other things come with the other things that happen if that makes sense oh it's true i mean <laughs> if you're really you're, you're really aware of things you really write them down and going over things like that especially finances that's the whole way, way that i work he does the money i'll look at the money i'll see exactly what we're spending money on and i'll say listen can we spend this money a different way or you know can we cut maybe this big sum up that maybe we're not using you know the biggest thing that i see out there and i seen a couple apps that just came out for it was like subscriptions to things so when you sign up to like these different oh apps gosh, and stuff yeah. like that you sign up for a subscription-based thing and that's been the model of all new businesses out there subscription-based business because it's they just ding your card every month yeah it, ding, it, it's, ding. it's constantly ten dollars you don't even recognize yeah it. it's okay. something that doesn't hit you and you don't think about it at that point but it's 10 bucks yeah so over a whole year they're going to charge you 1200 bucks now add that to the bottom end you know the bottom end of the the, the tail of what you're trying to really achieve um, and at that point, these things are going to add up really quick. And, uh, you know, I, I was looking at mine. I'm like, I don't even know what these things I'm using are being charged <laughs> for, right? A lot of people in this situation and don't even think about it. They're like, oh, I'll take care of it later. And just it goes on every month and ding, ding, ding. And like I said, it adds up. And at the end of the year, you're like, damn, I paid $2,000 for this thing that I didn't even use. Yeah. Or didn't even know what it was. Yeah. And that's and that's horrible. And that's like flushing money down the drain. It's basically going out there and throwing dollar bills or ten dollar bills or whatever it is out there. Mm -hmm. I say it all the time. Um, you know, but it's just something that you guys gotta just be aware about. Um, and if it's if it's about finances or trying to do that, like really looking at it in detail and seeing what kind of resolution you do, and that's for any of your goals out there. Really see it, identify it. And you know, look at your options of what you can do to change it. And mm -hmm. at that point, that's really your best. That's the best thing I can I could say, yeah. um, as far as achieving your goals are really trying to to hit that level. You result. can make it happen if you really want it. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. So hopefully, your 2022 has started off with a bang, and you've got your New Year's resolutions ready to go. You're gonna write them down, put them in your phone, and check them every day. Look at it. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself what you're going to achieve. Manifest these things out yeah, there. I right? manifest things every day. Really? You know, talk about it. Talk about what you're going to do to achieve it. See it. Believe it. Go after it. You guys got this. I know you guys can do it. Um, me and Sharice have manifested things in our life. Um, and I see a lot of people do this all around us. So you guys aren't any different. So whatever your goal is, really, really think about it, really, really want it, and go after it with everything you possibly can. Um, that's the best advice we can give you for the end of the year. Yes. The last episode of Cupid's Corner. Man, this is crazy. I think, it was, is this like two, two years? I think so. Whoa. Wow. Two years doing this show. Wow. On to our third. We need a reality thing. show. 
Hint, hint. Might come soon. Hint, wink, hint. wink. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this way. I wait. You might see wink, some of wink. that. It's very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> but no, guys, you know, I hope 2022 is your best year ever. Um, really, you know, believe in it and you guys will achieve it. So that's just a little bit of advice for me and Sharice, my beautiful wife here. I love you. So guys, don't worry. We're going to be back in 2022 this whole year for you guys. DVR us if you have to. But if you guys can't DVR us and you haven't seen us live, make sure you guys are checking out our social media pages because you'll see all this cool content and a lot more. Instagram, it's at Tight Medical. Facebook, at Tight Medical Center. TikTok, at Tight Medical Center. And Twitter, Tight Medical CEN. Um, YouTube, check that out. All our videos on there. You guys are going to love that. And we will see you guys next year because that's the alarm. I got to go. Love you. From Cupid's Corner to you guys. Me and Sharice, we're out of here. See ya.